Well, hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. They call me Mitchell and this is your energy forecast and intuitive message for today, Wednesday, March the 2nd, 2016. And as always, thank you for taking time to retweet, post, subscribe, become a fan, support me on patreon.com and check out my website, intuitivemitchell.com when you feel led. So today's message, we are going to Paul Selig's book, The Book of Mastery. And this is a beautiful one about authentic self and wearing masks. And that is this. The divine exists within, within each of you and it's beautiful. And the true radiance of your beauty cannot shine forth when you mistake yourself for the mask you wear. When you mistake yourself for the mask you wear. So, you know, this is where a lot of times we don't realize we're wearing masks and we don't realize what we're doing. And this is where I say, again, connect with your angels, your guides, those on the other side, and say, please show me where I'm wearing a mask. And I'll get ready because they're going to show you. You know, show where you, you know, I set the intention for all of us. Show us where we're putting on masks, whether they be small ones, little ones, but where we're blocking our true authentic self, where we need to remove a mask, a layer, if you will. And I do feel like we, we have masks that service at certain times and masks that we will probably continue to wear throughout our life. But ultimately, there's some big ones that I think we're, we're like hiding behind and we're blind to that we need to figure out how to remove the layers so that our true nature, our true self can shine through, shine forth and shine brightly. So there's your message. All right, let's dive into some numbers, some cards for today, second day of March. March, this incredible month of creative expression, speaking your truth, uh, you know, bringing things into life, optimism, playfulness. And today, all the numbers for today, today, but all the numbers add up to five. So it's shifting, it's changing, it's moving, it's volatile, it's transmorphing, freedom, versatile. That's a great number or a great word for the number five, change. Change is a coming today. Lenore, going to go along with this day of change, number nine, bouquet. So this is a change, a good change, a positive change, a gift. The bouquet, the flowers, you know, it's very beautiful, um, positive. Um, just, it's one of those cards where you kind of go, ah, oh, this should bring some happiness and some joy. Tarot to go along with that is going to be the emperor. So you're probably going to get it from this emperor personality, this Aries fire type personality, or maybe it's time to give one to them. Maybe this is your boss at work. They're going to surprise you with something good, something positive, a raise, a compliment, you know, a pat on the back when they never, ever do. But definitely feels very, very positive, which should bring about some happiness and joy to you. Tomorrow, number, it's, a, it's the three day of the three month. It adds up to six. It's a nine year. So lots of threes and multiples of threes and all wrapped into one. But again, tomorrow, all the numbers add up to number six, which is balance, nurturing. It's the work, home, environment, family focus duty and responsibility is very service oriented number the norm to go along with that is going to be the mice so this is shifting changing moving nibbling behind the scenes deterioration um so uh some other key words worry loss problems fear definitely can bring all those bring about so look in and around the home work family focus you know that service oriented responsibility and duty where there could be some deterioration and things that you don't quite see yet that are that are kind of behind the scenes, or even a fear that you're not sure that you or that you didn't know you had coming up. Terror to go along with it, two of cups. So most likely in and around relationships tomorrow. Two of cups, two of hearts, two connections. Could even be between parent and child, but probably most likely since we you know, we've got that number six energy, family focus, work duties and responsibilities, you know, so it's probably around, you know, the marriage, the home, because because number six is also about marriage and divorce. So there's definitely some fear, some deterioration, some things going on tomorrow in and around that energy of the home and duty, responsibility and relationship. So there's your message. Uh, thank you for those of you who tuned in last night to The Gab with Sherry Elise and I. We talked about a lot of stuff. We even talked politics. It was fun. And then this coming Sunday night, Cosmic Caffeine Reunion Show. Make sure you go register. It's all over my Facebook and Twitter account, where and who and how you can register. We're going to have live video, which is kind of cool, but you can also watch the archive. But you need to register to get to the archive, too. Um, what else? Um, I am open and available for phone, Skype, FaceTime sessions, intuitive sessions, animal communication sessions, and even in-person sessions, which I usually do Saturdays between 9.30 and 2 p.m. All of that's on my 
uh, website, intuitivemitchell.com. And the best way to do that is you click on booking, you fill out your, click what, what thing you want to buy, and then you click, you know, the, 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 time zone and then the calendar pops up and you find where you can book. If you don't see it, it's booked. I'm full. I only have um, some evenings and some weekend times available because of my corporate day job. Also, you can buy a gift certificate. You can click on gift certificate on the header there and purchase one of those sessions for somebody else. They get a beautiful gift certificate. You can email it, print it out, hand it to them, a code. They go back in, put the coupon in, uh, the number, and we go from there. So there's all the information. Talk to you soon. Namaste. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.